booktube it's missy and today i'm here to share with you guys my august book haul part two i told you in my other book haul that i would be going to book off that i had a book outlet package that was coming i did do a couple of buys at thrift books i ordered a pre-order and so yeah I have a lot of books to share with you guys. So let's start with the book off books first. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to share with you this bag here first. And the reason why is because all of these books in here are for you guys. Um, whenever I go to book off or the library bookstore and I see a book that I have read that I personally really liked and I think that you guys would like it and say a trade away I have to buy it because these books are a dollar um I can't not buy a dollar book it's really hard for me to just pass them up especially if I can share them with friends and I consider you guys oops all of my friends. Okay, so the first book I want to share with you guys is actually my copy, and that is Foundling by D.M. Cornish. Now, this is the first book of a trilogy. It's called the Blood Tattoo Trilogy, and this one is very nice. There's a little bit of peeling right here. I don't know what happened. I think just being on my bookshelves, but it does have French flaps. It has deckled edges. It has a map on the flap section. And this is a YA uh, fantasy with, this one has illustrations. I think they all have illustrations actually. So here's one of the illustrations. Um, but what happened was I went to book off and I found this book uh, in hardcover. Now this matches my other hardcover which is very irritating to me because they came with this picture which I really like this illustration and it came like this in the paperback and the hard covers for these two editions for these two books and then the third the factum doesn't come in this illustrated edition so I'm going to have to have a different edition for that one. So now I'm going to have three different hardback editions because this no longer matches my hardcover middle book. Am I making any sense? Do you even care? I have a problem with my books matching. This is paperback. The second is hardcover on my shelves. But they both had the same picture. But now they don't have the same picture, but I'd rather have two hardcovers than have two hardcovers with, or a paperback and a hardcover with matching pictures. Does that make sense? <laughs> Nobody cares. Anyways, I'm giving this away in the August trade away. The next book I found is Judy Bloom's Forever. Now, you guys have not seen my book shelf tour number three just yet. I still have to edit and upload it and that's going to take a very long time because I have to add all of my info. But just know that I talked about this book in my bookshelf tour and this was one of my favorite books of junior high of seventh grade. This is a YA contemporary and um, yeah, uh, you will hear all about this book if you watch my bookshelf tour which should be coming up uh, this weekend. The next book that I want to share with you guys that I found for a dollar is this hardback of Sanctuary Bay by Laura J. Burns and Melinda Metz. Now this came out last year. I just bought this book from Book Outlet uh, sometime, maybe it was last year or the beginning of this year. This is actually a 2015 release. This is a YA fantasy, no, excuse me, a YA mystery about a girl who goes to a boarding school at like the edge of a cliff, but there's a huge conspiracy within the school, like there's a secret society that she wants to figure out. Anyways, um, this is brand spanking new. And when I first saw this at Book Outlet a long time ago, I want to say like six or seven months ago, it was $8.99, and now it's a dollar. 
and it's for you guys. And the very last book that I found for a dollar, which I was so stinking excited about, is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Uh, this is my favorite edition because it has the striped edges, it's got the sparkly stars, um, the inside, and the end pages look like this, and this is what the actual hardcover looks like. Very pretty. The dust jacket's a little banged up. It's been read before, but the pages themselves are in perfect condition. Um, yeah, and I got it for a dollar. So I'm excited to share with you guys this book. This was my favorite or second favorite book, I think of 2014 maybe. I know that I read this a while ago and I actually listened to it on audio. Um, Jim Dale, who is the narrator of the Harry Potter series, narrates this book. So if you don't like really dense uh, fantasies, then you might want to listen to this on audio because he is amazing at narration. This has a little bit of, um, not dual perspective, but you have the regular narrator, you know, talking through the book. But then there's certain sections of the book that actually speak to the reader as if you are there at the circus and this is about two illusionists or two magicians that have to compete in a competition um, until the end which you know is supposed to be death but we don't know what's going to happen um, and I absolutely loved it and the circus was fantastic so I have two hardcovers and two paperbacks that I will be giving away in my trade away next month so look out for these books Okay, on to the other bag. This is the second book off bag that I have, but these books are all ones for me. And I found another, like all of these books were a dollar. And I was very excited because this time around I spent $13 on 13 books. They were all a buck. And I love walking away with dollar books because sometimes I'll go to book off and I'll spend, you know, $3, $5 on books that I really, really want. But all of these were a dollar. So go me. The first one I have here is Book of Dead Days by Marcus Sedgwick. Now if you've been on my channel for a while, um, you may have seen a video that I will actually leave in the cards if you want to check it out. And the title of that video is Books That I Continue Buying Even Though I've Never Read That Author Before or something similar to that. Um, so Marcus Sedgwick, I have never read a book by him, but he has so many books um, for YA and they're all different genres so he'll write a mystery and then a thriller and then a horror and then a contemporary and so I keep buying his books and they're all pretty short and they all have good ratings and yeah I but I've never read him this one is a duology I believe and this is the first book of the duology and I think this is about the Grim Reaper maybe no it's about a magician uh, I'm still looking forward to reading it. I like this cover. All right, the next book I found was Sweet Unrest by Lisa Maxwell. Now this is a YA uh, mystery, like paranormal story about a girl who moves down to Louisiana with her mom and dad. Her dad is going to be the caretaker of this uh, plantation house. He's going to be running it. It's going to be a museum and our main character ends up kind of getting haunted by somebody and so she goes and talks to a voodoo uh, priestess and then there's all of that that goes on. Um, but the thing is I could not find this second book on at my library and so I had to buy it but I felt kind of weird just owning the second book and not the first book but I didn't want to buy this one on its own because this was like I don't know eight dollars or something long story short now I don't have to get rid of the second book because I found the first and I want to have a matching set on my shelves I don't just want to own a second book so yay one dollar the next book I found was Karen Slaughter's Pretty Girls this is an adult uh, mystery thriller and I have never read Karen. I have never read Karen Slaughter, but I've heard that she's really good, and I've heard this book is really good. And 
uh, remember, these were all a dollar, so I'm super excited. Uh, what was underneath the dust jacket? Ugly, just black. Uh, do you guys know of adult hardcovers that are pretty on the outside? Let me know down below, because that usually happens with middle grade and YA, but never adult books. Like, we as adults don't want to see pretty books. I don't understand. All right, the next one I found was Christopher Moore's Fool. I own a few of Christopher Moore's. I know that he writes uh, funny or humorous books and that they're all surrounding, like, the supernatural, I think. Um, but I haven't read... <laughs> story of my life. I haven't read anything by him yet, but I keep buying his books, especially if they're a dollar. And this one, I don't know what it's about. If you've read Fool, let me know how you liked it. Uh, here is underneath the dust jacket. It's yellow. And I just said that, you know, adult books aren't really usually pretty underneath. And that's not necessarily pretty. It's just yellow. But this is an adult book. So there's that one. Then, I finally caved and bought uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith. Now, Seth Graham Smith also wrote... Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which I really did love. So I, every time I see this book, I pass it up. But this is a very, in, very nice hardback that's in great condition. And here's underneath the dust jacket. I had started this book years ago. I want to say like when it first came out, which was in 2010. So I might have picked this up before I started my channel. So maybe in 2013, and I read the first couple chapters, and I thought it was okay, but I borrowed it from the library, and then I returned it, and the what I read was kind of interesting. It was about a man who owns a shop who finds Lincoln's, um, like, diary down in the basement, but um, I am definitely looking forward to starting this back up again and seeing how I like it. Two more books from Book Off. The next book I found is I, Ripper by Stephen Hunter. And I believe this is a standalone book about Jack the Ripper. Hopefully. If this is a series, um, you know, I'll, I'll read them if I enjoy this one. But I did find this. And when I looked on Goodreads, I did have... I did have, that's not even a sentence. I had marked this previously as a book that I wanted to read. So even though I don't remember anything about this, I did mark it on Goodreads, so I bought it. And the very last book that I purchased at Book Off, which was a dollar, is Nemesis by Joe Nesbo. Now, I, I like this edition where they have the solid color. The one I own of snowman is black and then it has the snowman in white so this is the red uh, cover but I think all of them in this series is black on the edges with red but then there's a newer edition with uh, that they're all white and I don't want those ones but I found this one I keep going on tangents I found this one and I think this is the eighth book out of the series maybe hmm I don't know but if I can find all of them in this edition for cheap, I'm just going to continue to buy them. And then I'll have the whole series. I do know that this is a Scandinavian uh, murder mystery series. Not murder mystery. I think it's a thriller. With a serial killer, maybe? Or something to that effect? Maybe it's just a detective in each, <laughs> each uh, book. He has to deal with a different crime. I don't know, but I'm excited to read it. I think The Snowman is about a serial killer. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. Oh, I lied. I have one more book, but it was so tiny, I missed it. This one, I have Fever Born by Karen Marie Monning. And what no book is this? What book is this? This is, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth book. So this must be a different number. I, I might have gotten them confused. I do own the first and the fourth book of this. 
So I purchased the eighth book because it was a dollar. And when it comes to series, if I can find them all for cheap, regardless of what the series is, even though it's a number really like far into the series, I'm just going to buy them if they're a dollar. All right, that was all of Book Off, which is a used bookstore that's down in San Diego where I live. I absolutely love it. Um, they don't have very many in the United States, but if you ever are in San Diego, I would check it out because it is fan-freaking-tastic. So there's that. All right, the next books I have here are all of my thrift books. I have five packages that I want to share with you guys. Um, I will be updating this video tomorrow because I do have one more thrift book package coming and I'll just insert it into the video here. So these are the books that I was waiting for yesterday to add to the video. Um, there's two books in here so let's open them up. And the two books are, yay, Tana French's The Faithful Place. This is the third book in the Dublin Murder Squad series. I've read the first and second book already with my friend, the Maddie Hatter. I will leave her channel link down below. Um, but we should be reading the third book at some point in time. I do enjoy buddy reading with her. And so if we can read the entire series together, that would be amazing. Um, I'm excited for this new book and also the fact that these all match they're all by penguin um so yeah i like it when all of my books match if you guys didn't know and the second book in the package was the screaming statue which is the curiosity house series i think it's a trilogy and this is by lauren oliver and hc chester now yesterday uh you saw the first book in this series and so now I am hauling the second book. Uh, this this is in great condition. So exciting. And there is the end pages and yesterday we saw a really cool cover and this time it is also cool. Uh, I believe last book, the last book was blue and now this one is purple. I'll have to double check but isn't this gorgeous? I love that Lauren Oliver's middle grade um, naked hardbacks have a picture on it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. And those are the two other books that I wanted to share. And then lastly, I do have one makeup item for this haul, and it is from Black Moon Cosmetics. They are vegan, and um, I think, yeah, I think they are here in California. I believe their company is in LA. Uh, I'm going to probably struggle with this box a bit. They had a sale going on just this weekend for the Eclipse, and I had to get on there and buy a new lipstick. Today I'm wearing um, a Black Milk, although you can see the butthole. That's what um, Saf calls it, if you haven't seen Safria, uh, I will leave her channel link down below. She used to work for BuzzFeed. I've talked about her before, especially when I first bought these lipsticks because this is how I found out about this company was on her website when she was talking about her lipstick collection. But anywho, um, Black Milk is a, it's an indie brand. They make their own stuff. They have lipstick and eyeshadows and I think highlighters. So this is what the box looks like in the inside, which is super pretty. And here's just a card that comes in the box, the receipts. What's this? Oh, a little thank you note. And I only bought one lipstick. The lipsticks run, I think they're $18. And the sale was, I think, 20% off maybe. So it was $14. 20 something like that um i do own grim and grave which are both browns and i'm wearing grim i believe and then oh so cute <laughs> i've never gotten a single the last time when i got these two brown lipsticks it came in a a dual unicarton because it was like a uh, you can buy them together 
and you can still buy them together on the website but this is what the unicartons look like if you just get one lipstick i really really love it and these are liquid to matte um they are very drying but you can't feel them on your lips at the same time if that makes sense so of course they collect in all of my lines but they're transfer proof for the most part so i do like that and uh yeah i purchased oops the color willow um this is another nude if you guys saw uh my instagram i shared this mm, i shared this color with you on my instagram all right and that is what it looks like so it's <laughs> it's kind of the same color as um grim almost but it's got more of a uh, pinky like a mauve tint to it but they're they're all they're all in the brown family i really like brown lipstick so i'm excited for this one all right and that is it uh goodbye and hello to past missy Okay, so the first book I have here is Trench by Steve Alton. This is uh, book two in the Meg series. I read Meg a couple months ago, absolutely loved it, and now I need to own all of the books in the series so I can continue on. So this is the second one, and I do own the third, which is Primal Waters. It is about a megalodon shark that comes to the surface and, you know starts murdering everything in the water which is such a fun read uh kind of like jaws but 10 times better because it's a megalodon you know a jurassic shark lovely all right the next package i have here is oh, you know how many times have i made videos for you guys and then i like Herculean open all these packages instead of just getting scissors. Maybe I'm trying to impress you. Do you get excited about the strength of my muscles? Let me know down below. <laughs> all right. Ooh, I didn't realize it was going to be so big. That's what she said. All right, so the next book I have here is Shapeshifters by Stefan. Ooh. Anyways, um, this has a different title. Oh good, it's in English. Uh, this has a different title. I can't remember what the title is right now. I think it's Stello. Maybe it's Stello. Anyways, um, I've been wanting this book forever on Book Outlet and then I found it at Thrift Books for super cheap. And besides it being like dirty, uh, it's in perfect condition and I've been wanting to read this. This is supposed to be like a Scandinavian horror book. Again, let me know down below if you've read any of these books and how you liked them because I want to know if this should be added to my October TBR for all of my horror reads. But uh, yeah, the shapeshifters. I'm excited. Next, I have a hardback here. And uh, let's see what's inside of this. Sheesh. That, that was too much muscles. Too much muscles. Mm. Wow. Okay. Um, if you guys have been watching my recap, rewrap, and update most anticipated reads videos, you will have known that I think Into the Gray was my most anticipated read for either july or august of 2014 i could not find this at my local library i didn't want to pay full price for it so i found it at uh, thrift books and i didn't realize it was going to be a naked hardback which is very cool and this is by celine uh kiernan this is a ya paranormal Ooh, this book is actually really gorgeous i mean besides the little dent right here uh Excellent. I'm super excited, especially since, you know, I've been wanting to read this, but I couldn't find it at my library. And that's what really stinks when you have a obscure or not a very popular book from any um, 
age group and then you can't find it at the library and then you have to buy it because you know I try to utilize my library as much as possible but sometimes I just can't and I'm excited to read this one all right next book is also a hardcover um, please excuse the loud noises from outside um, as you guys all know in one of my previous videos I cannot use the fan because that just is too loud so then I have to leave the window open and then you hear all of the outside noise because I live in apartments yay I think I hope to God that this is the same size as the other book all right I have here a uh, Storm Chaser by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. This is the Edge Chronicles. Um, I own the first one. This is the second one. I really want it in these editions. Okay, so I am going to be collecting all of these books at some point in time. Um, but this is gorgeous. And if you don't know who Chris Riddell is, uh, he is a illustrator. All of his uh, characters have the same um, whimsical style to it and so here is one of his pictures now this is about a boy who was dropped off at a troll's um house and then the trolls raised them so he's kind of like a oh, hatchling that's not the word what are they called you know what i'm talking about when a human is dropped off and switched at birth yada yada um but he is a human anyways he goes on an adventure and this is the second book so we get to see a new adventure with him in it and I can't wait to read it and this looks brand new too like it's never been read I, I, I love buying books that have barely been read but at the same time I'm always sad like why why didn't you pick this book up it's amazing you missed out on something really good but thank you for giving it to me for so cheap thank you all right, and the very last book is another paperback. I don't remember what any of these books are. Thrift Books is so good because, you know, you get free shipping, and then their books are like $4, which if you go to Amazon Marketplace, a lot of the times you can buy books for super cheap, like a dollar a book, but then you still have to pay $3.99 shipping and handling per book even if it's the same company that you're buying from it's still $3.99 per book why does plastic stick to you is it just because of static electricity drama crazy all right we have pop goes the weasel by m j arledge i believe this is the second a book in the series maybe maybe the third i'm collecting all of these books as well i just bought eeny meeny uh, last month, I think. Oh, it doesn't have the little list of what all the books are. But I am starting to collect them all. And I think I have one, two, and three now. Possibly. I'm not sure. On to my Amazon orders. This one I just bought the other day. Because for some reason, these books were like four or five dollars on Amazon. Like, for brand new books. So I just had to buy them. The first one I have here is Demon Glass by Rachel Hawkins. Now I do own the first book in this series. Um, no one talks about this series anymore. I don't remember how people liked it back in the day when it first came out, but this is a witch series and it's at a boarding school, I think. Hex Hall is the first book. So I wanted to buy this one because again, it was like $4. And then I also bought a Darkness, Strange, and Lovely by Susan Dennard. This is the second book in the series. I still need to pick up the first one. And this is about zombies. So I'm looking forward to that. This package was my pre-order. Um, if you guys don't know, it, it, it's going to match those books. And I'm still thinking excited. <sighs> 
Look at how beautiful. This is the fourth and final book in the Jacoby series by William Ritter, The Dire King. I cannot wait to find out what happens to Abigail Rook and Jacoby and the rest of the gang. I am currently reading Ghostly Echoes, so once I finish that, I will try to pick this one up. Otherwise, this will be first priority in September. All right, this book here is from Skyhorse Publishing. I did request this book. I received an email asking if I wanted any of their books that are coming out uh, this month, and I found one that I've already talked to you guys about in my previous most anticipated reads for August. So if you guys watch that video, then you might know what this book is. Ooh, I'm so excited. And that book here is League of American Traders by Matthew Landis. This is the book that's supposed to be kind of like um, Nicolas Cage. Uh, what is it called? It'll be on the back, right? What is it like? There we go. <laughs> it's up here. Okay, so it's supposed to be like National Treasure meets Hamilton. And I'm very excited because it is a conspiracy about the traitors of the Civil War, I think. Oh, the Revolutionary. Revolutionary War? I did go to school, so there's that. But... I have forgotten many things. Anyways, I, I am looking forward to this historical fiction mystery. Uh, here's underneath the dust jacket. All right, and this is YA, so yay. Thank you, Sky Horse Publishing. Hopefully I will get to this in September. And then I can let you guys all know how I liked it and whether you guys should also read it because I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. And the very last thing I want to share with you guys is my book outlet purchase. I bought this so long ago and it's been sitting on my floor waiting for this video. I have no idea what's in this box. So it'll be a surprise to both of us. I just opened this up off camera just because I couldn't find my box cutter and so I used a pen and that's kind of boring to share with you guys. I did have a subscriber or a viewer Talk about how they would rather me open these packages and boxes up so you guys could see them, but I don't know how I would do that. And every time I go to film, I always forget. So I don't know if that's gonna happen. I mean, I, I do hold them open so you guys can see. Ooh, yay! I haven't got one of these in a while. All right, so we got the paper. And we got the sneaky peekies. First book in the box is The Curiosity House, The Shrunken Head by Lauren Oliver and H.C. Chester. Uh, this is a middle grade book that I've been wanting for a while. And it's a mystery about a house. Oh my god, look at how gorgeous the ed end pages are. Ooh! You know what? I own another Lauren Oliver middle grade Lizel, Lizel, Lizel and Poe, and the Naked Hardback is gorgeous like this. I love it when they have pictures. We just discussed this. Middle grade knows how to do it correctly, and I cannot wait to read this stinking book. Oh my gosh. I don't know when, but I want to read just like all middle grades, uh, one of these ones. Maybe in November. I don't know. Here is an illustration of a man holding a piano with one hand. He must be super strong. All right. The next book in the box was Jenna Black's Night Struck. I didn't know this was going to be a hardcover. That's exciting. I thought it was paperback. Um, so I did a most anticipated reads a few months ago that had the sequel to this book and it sounded really interesting so I wanted to pick up the first. Um, it says it's suspenseful and savage and does horror right. That's what um, Kimberly Durting said. So it's a horror YA. 
I know that I wanted to read this because it's supposed to be good. So I, I got it. All right, the next book, which you probably saw in the Sneaky Peekies, is Radiance by Catherine M. Valente. I do own all of her books of the girl who circumnavigated Fairyland in a ship of her own making. I own that entire series. My son, the 12-year-old, read the entire series and absolutely loved it. Everyone has praised this book in particular, so I wanted to pick it up. I don't know what it's about, um, but it was pretty cheap and so I wanted to buy it and uh, underneath the dust jacket it's pretty plain but I do know yeah a, a few of my favorite booktubers have read this book and really enjoyed it so I had to pick it up as well okay the next thing I purchased was what the Dead Want by Nora Olson. This was another one of my most anticipated reads. Uh, I don't remember what month, but I'm trying to collect all of those books just so I can share them with you guys in videos, but also because I really still want to read them. Mm, that's not an actual sentence or correct grammar. Excuse me. The, um, this is the second day back at work. And I've been, you know, helping the children, as you can see, not in English, but um, I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, here is the Naked Hardback. I love it. It's, it's, I don't know what color this is. It's not periwinkle, because periwinkle is more of a purple. But this is very soft. This is a soft blue. I like it a lot. And what the dead want is a book about ghosts and it's YA. All right, the next book I have here is The Killing Jar by Jennifer Bosworth. Again, this is another book that was on my most anticipated reads. One, one month from, you know, 2014 to now. I don't remember what month it was. Ew, love it. Underneath the dust jacket. It's okay. And uh, this is a YA thriller. I think this has a serial killer in it. All right, two more books. I have here Furiously Happy by Jenna, Jenna, Jenny Lawson. I did read her book, um, Let's Pretend This Never Happened, which I absolutely loved. And I actually listened to that book on audio and Jenny Lawson narrates her own book and it was just so hilarious and I love her personality and I know this book came out a few years ago but I've been wanting to read it and so I finally bought it on uh, on the book outlet and I'm excited to have it and pick it up. This is a non-fiction. Uh, the last book that she wrote was a memoir so I'm assuming all of her books are going to be memoirs and the very 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 last book that I purchased was The First Time She Drowned by Carrie Kelter, another book from my most anticipated reads, uh, broken record, but this one is supposed to be a YA mystery contemporary. I believe this girl, uh, her mom puts her into a mental hospital and she's not supposed to be there. So it's going to be like a mental health contemporary mystery. Ooh, I love this color green. Very nice. All right, so those those were all the books. I'm going to try to hold all the books up in you know this last shot so I can share them all again with you. But like I said before, let me know down below if you have read any of these books. Which ones were your favorite? Which ones should I read first? And uh, what have you purchased in the last couple of weeks? Let me know all of that down below. Okay, this is going to be very difficult, but, oh my god, <laughs> there's all the books. And uh, you didn't get to see any of them because I showed you the pages instead. But I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. But those were 24 books that I purchased this month for really cheap. Most of them were dollar books. 
And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.